So today in Hearts of Iron 4, we are going to be using the smallest division templates that we could possibly make. This just might be one of the worst looking division templates possible. You know, these divisions are so bad and so tiny, I'm honestly wondering if I'm actually going to lose to Poland. Like, yes, Poland may only have 30 divisions to my 700, but you really have to think about it. Their divisions are probably 10 times larger than mine are. So, <laughs> the independence of Poland is guaranteed by the United Kingdom. I wonder what happened in real life, I should be fine. Oh my god, look how bad this is. Look how quickly we lose. We can't even win a single battle right now. Wait. Oh, wait a, wait a minute. We're actually able to win battle. <laughs> This is going much better than I was expecting. There you go. Oh my. How did that work? But well, we actually managed to encircle a few guys. I didn't think I'd actually be saying this, but two wits? They actually work. So one thing I've noticed here is that it's taking me ages and ages to push anything. Often, oftentimes it would take me two weeks or so just to win over one province, and that is way too long. But there's a fix for that problem. Now, unlike those stupid infantry divisions, we actually have some breakthrough and soft attack with these, so... Maybe we can break through a little easier. Now, this might be bad. It appears the, uh, the censored Reich has sent in a couple tank divisions, which are gonna beat the shit out of mine. This is, no joke, one of the dumbest strategies I have ever tried using in this game. We're losing, like, every battle we do, but there's so many of us... In the few battles we do when we can just flood hundreds and hundreds of troops into them. And basically they just can't stop us. Because I have so many troops invading Poland at once, I've just been able to make a huge encirclement of the entire country. But we can't even finish them off because their troops are so bad at doing anything else. We just have to throw ourselves at them and hope they win. God, we're actually gonna take loads. The two with divisions managed to take out Poland. So that was probably one of the most miserable wars I've ever had to fight in this game. As it, I'm I mean, as the Soviet Union, we struggled to even kill Poland. I, that's pretty embarrassing, but that's what you get with two with divisions. And time to bully some minor nations. So it took us almost a month to break through one province in Estonia. So I'm a little worried about how the rest of this war is going to be going. And there goes Estonia. I mean, it really goes to show just how bad two with divisions are when Estonia takes a month to defeat because of them. Hopefully this one won't go as badly. Well, I mean, at least I can say we're winning a couple battles in this fight, which is isn't saying much, I guess. Did you see that? We overran a division with our two widths. <laughs> you can actually overrun a division with a two width division. Oh wow, we actually we actually didn't do too badly against Latvia compared to before, although the UK's here now, which is a problem. What, you think you're cool because you can take out 66 of my divisions with five of yours? Well, you want to know what I have, Mr. UK? I have, um... I have nothing. I almost forgot to turn player-led peace conferences on. For using two with divisions, I just might have to skew a peace deal in my favor. So I don't have an auto-clicker, so having to rapidly click the pass button for two victory points is kind of tedious, so I kind of just gave up after, like, I don't know, two minutes? I feel like Lithuania might be an easier take out than the rest because let's just say they're tunnel visioning a little hard right now. Well, that was probably the swiftest takeover with two with divisions yet. How have you not won yet? It's literally, they've been this de orged for like a week, dude. Just take it already. This has got to be one of the worst dis ideas I have ever come up with. I thought this would be an interesting scientific experiment but look at the torture i'm having to go through i mean just look at that estimate it's like just flying all over the place it seems to be getting a bit shorter but it gets shorter but then it will get longer oh <gasps> i can't believe it you actually managed to win that battle after almost two months two months of sieging that one place and you finally pulled it off. I don't even know what to say. It is an unbelievable achievement. So now I think the only option that I really have is to try to somehow land in the United Kingdom. Well, I think this is going to go very poorly. Well, I should have known there would have been an undefended port at least. I have no idea how the hell we're actually winning the naval invasion with these divisions. Maybe their specialty is exactly for this. A two with infantry division can naval invade and actually win. They did better naval invading than they did just fighting as an infantry division normally would. I'm just gonna casually encircle the entire British army. <laughs> Where I'm probably gonna say, how is this working? And then it's gonna stop working. So, I mean, I probably am speaking way too soon, but... We were across an ocean that we don't have naval superiority in. They have air superiority as well. We have, like, no advantage and we're somehow winning. 
can only defend for so long, UK. I have too many divisions. That's just the strategy to take out the UK, clearly. It's not about the divisions you have. It's about the quantity of the divisions you have. <laughs> These two width divisions, we have about 200, probably close to 300 divisions on this island, and we're actually beating the hell out of them. I'm still amazed on how well that went. I did not expect to get anywhere past the beach. I can't believe we actually fucking won. Well, I'm fairly horrified that that worked. So I'm, I'm just gonna keep pushing my limits till it stops working. We're gonna go to the US now. It appears upon hearing my war justification, they are starting to pump out divisions like there's no tomorrow. I have a feeling this is gonna go badly, but I really don't have a choice, right? Okay, so I was just looking over here. We took a couple provinces and then we were stopped after I was going about, oh my god, I did so well, and uh, just usual Hoi Fort Karma and all, but I didn't look over here, and I, I don't think the US did either. I honestly think Mr. FDR forgot entirely about Michigan, and I probably would have too. Don't feel bad about it. Well, it was going somewhat well, but not anymore, unfortunately. Well, at least there are only two with, so it isn't as bad as it looks. How many divisions can I lose? Oh, now it's going down real quick. It's really starting to plummet. Oh, now we've dropped below 400. So I didn't really get enough footage from that game to put into a single video, so we're gonna try again as the German Reich and see if the German Reich maybe fares better with two with divisions. You know, I used to use this strategy a lot when I was new to the game and it actually worked pretty well. I mean, it relied on the AI stupidity, but well, it's easy to rely on in most scenarios, so it worked very well. So unfortunately, I can't get the military XP to really convert these tanks yet, but don't worry, they'll be far away from the rest of the action. Belgium probably won't even know they exist. Come in, I'm just, I'm just letting you guys immigrate to my country. It's not a war at all. Well, we're doing quite well against the Belgians, but that might also be because Germany's troops are a lot stronger than the previous country we played. See, the Soviets don't get this awesome division organization buff like everywhere you look. You think with this game be around five to six years that the AI would learn to get a little smarter and not fall for easy stuff like that? Honestly, if it makes my life easier, I'll support it. How do you own Brussels still? I don't know, I think the Belgians are rat people. Oh, look. The UK has a fallen government. Looks like you're not going to be getting any help anytime soon. Oh, look what time it is. We are actually pushing them. Now oh, they joined the Commonwealth of Nations. I don't know if Canada can really save you. Well, we did make it to Paris, but my, uh... I don't know where the hell all my army went. There were so many people over here and they just disappeared. I haven't seen such a stupid move since Stalingrad. So we let them beat their heads into us like the AI usually likes to do, and now they're pretty weak again. And, uh, weak to the point where my two wits can actually win in an even fight. Does this look like a country that deserves to exist to you? There you go. Look at that. The YouTube Reich has defeated France with two width divisions. Well, that seems to be quite the glitch now. Um... Oh, shit. I thought Canada owned that. Well, with basically no way for me to really invade Canada practically, I'm just gonna end it here. I should be... It should be a long enough video to put up now, so... So if you like the video, why not uh, hit the like button? Because that means uh, you liked it. And if you really, really liked it, there's always a red subscribe button with a bell next to it that you could also hit. Okay, bye.